Hi Pop Tarts, just a few contemplations today really on the theme of Yule and I know it's one that a lot of YouTubers in the pagan community are going to have a big checklist of videos they want to make about Yule and ideas they're having about Yule or how they're going to celebrate or what their altar looks like and so on. And for me really I just wanted to do a video kind of of the same ilk of the Samhain Contemplations video that I did really, just to talk a bit about what the festival actually means to me and what kind of themes and ideas it gets me thinking about and also what I do to celebrate it. And I think Yule's a weird one really because culturally, I mean I don't know of any pagans who don't celebrate Christmas. Um, culturally it's become um, a secular holiday, it doesn't really have a great deal of attachment in this country certainly to religion. Um, it can be given a religious flavour within your family set up if that's how you do things but it's very much now considered to be part of the furniture. People use Christmas as a time to get together and exchange gifts and feel grateful for what they have and feel grateful for the relationships they have with those around them. It's not really a Christ thing unless you want it to be. Which I think some religious people strongly disagree with but I think it's snowballed way and beyond any um, any idea of getting it back to being a Christian holiday and of course pagans are very much well read and researched on ideas of it very much being a pre-Christian holiday anyway and the evidence for that and so on and so forth so it doesn't really cut any mustard with us anyway that we shouldn't celebrate uh, Christmas on account of it being a Christian festival since obviously it was largely commandeered from ideas and uh, celebrations that came uh, a long time before this country was Christian. So you know I celebrate Christmas and I love Christmas but Yule is its own thing obviously and I think the, the, the difference between the two is marked but not necessarily it's not necessarily as though there's no correlation for me between Yule and Christmas and a lot of the feelings that I have and the things that I deal with and address during Yule I will carry on you know with feeling those things and um, processing those things and exploring those ideas over the Christmas period as well so you know I think the two kind of tie together quite nicely because I think Yule is for me a lot about coming out of hibernation Samhain for me is a time of inner work and I did speak about that a lot in the contemplations video that it is a time of great inner work and exploring the unconscious, exploring the depths of the shadow aspect, um, going deep into yourself and having that spiritual fervour and allowing yourself to plant those roots. Um, and as it's the new year I think there's a lot of saying goodbye and mourning but I think there's also these roots that are planted that when Yule comes along you have a chance to celebrate the fact that they are going to grow, you know. We are really celebrating with Yule the fact that the days are going to begin to lengthen, that summer is going to come again. So it is kind of that acceptance that the end of the cycle has now come and we are moving into the beginning of the next phase. We are literally celebrating the fact that the, the days are going to become longer, the sun's going to return. So I think with that, you can look at the roots that you've planted during your Samhain period and the contemplations that you've um, you've explored with regard to what you want to actually get out of the next year in terms of spirituality, in terms of self-development and that kind of thing. With Yule, you're really cementing those plans, you're naming your dreams, you're giving birth to your visions. I think it's a celebration of going forward. So I think it really is about the idea of accepting that you're coming out of hibernation, that the this next phase is going to be thrust upon you and you have to kind of make of it what you will. So I think it's a very positive festival and a very positive time for celebration on that basis. And it does make me feel so much with regard to understanding the roots that I've planted and the ambitions that I have, the things I want to achieve with my personal development and with my own pathway through life, Yule really punctuates that. It's like the full stop at the end of my list of goals and ambitions and things I want to actually get to. Yule is almost like putting that in the envelope and sending it to myself and saying, right, okay, the time is almost upon me when I can begin to really celebrate that this idea that I'm going to move into the next phase you know, and those roots that I've, those seeds that I've planted during Samhain are really going to start to grow and I'm going to see something, I'm going to see some return from the work that I've put into my inner life. And I also think with Yule, obviously, it's, it's a time to socialise and it's a time to be generous, it's a time to be open about your plans. Samhain, I think, for me, is a time of solace and secrecy, it's a time of personal involvement and I think it's a time to 
be alone in a way that is productive for you and that allows you to really draw a line under anything that's going on in your outer life. For me, Samhain is a time where I really get into the inner dialogue with myself. I try and work out what's no longer working, which cycles tend to perpetuate that aren't doing me any good. I draw a line under things that haven't been productive for me or have had a negative consequence and I really begin to focus wholeheartedly and seriously on the inner work that I need to do to provide myself with that sense of well-being and to feel whole so with Yule I think it's a time to kind of come out of my shell with that um, it's a time to put it forward to speak with other people about it to be a little bit more vocal and upfront about what it is that I want to achieve with the coming year and to help other people as well to help my friends to feel that this is a new start for them to kind of branch out and lend that helping hand and show the love to people and I think that very much ties in with Christmas because that is the biggest vibe with Christmas nowadays is that whole feeling of coming together, discussing your plans, helping each other, showing generosity towards each other and just showing each other what you mean to each other um, and celebrating everything that's gone before in the last 12 months, putting it to rest and understanding that together we're all going to move forward. So it does have that feeling of regeneration and motivation to it, which I absolutely love. It's not just a winding down. It's actually, um, it's just that it's a little, it's like lifting the veil between now and like the dead of summer in next year when everything's going to be going on. All these sow and seeds that I've planted are really going to be taking shape and coming out into the sunlight in six months time. And that is, um, that's what I get with sow and I get that feeling of um, excited premonition almost that, you know, I've done enough and what I haven't done can be done now before it's too late. And I can really watch my life kind of regenerate in the way that I want it to. So I think there is um, a lot of focus on visions for the future with me. I don't know if that's true for any of you, but I really feel that this is a time when I'm looking towards the future and I'm I'm looking at what I've set in place and what I've set in motion and what my strong foundations are, what my core is. That's very much addressed with Samhain and we shouldn't address those things for no reason. As we come towards Yule, we should be recognising that we want to build on what's already been achieved and we want to use the lessons that we've learned over the last 12 months to move us forward in a way that really propels us and really makes us feel that what we've done has been worthwhile in both the positive and the negative aspects. You know, that there has been a lesson to learn and that lesson can be put into something exciting. So I think that's a great part of the interaction with others is that you spread that positivity around a little bit and that's what I really intend to do around this time of year and that's the feeling that I love as well. I absolutely love the fact that there is so much positivity, so much outward positivity between strangers and between old friends. It just feels really lovely and I think with Yule, there's a big theme that you need to release in order to embrace, and that's something I've always said about Yule. Yule is the time where I kind of feel my arms lighten up a little bit. As I come towards the 21st, I kind of feel that I'm lightening my own spiritual load, because you have to let go of what's in your arms in order to embrace the next thing. And I really want to embrace the next thing. I, I get very excited. The time between Yule and Imbolc um, is when I get my most excited about the idea of releasing in order to embrace. And I feel I'm really ready to do that. Um, how I celebrate Yule is kind of really subtle, to be honest with you. Um, it's not as much of a deeply ritualised ceremony as Samhain would be for me. Um, but as I explained in my Samhain contemplations video, Samhain for me really is the, the big daddy. Uh, Celtic New Year but I think Yule has its own special place in my heart and I, I do do a little something and I do kind of mark that time. I have been to Stonehenge um, a couple of times over the years for the winter solstice. I've been for the summer solstice as well and that is like a full-on rave. I mean there's just thousands of people there, thousands, and they're not all pagans, they're all there for different reasons. Um, some are eco-warriors, some are hippies living kind of um, sustainable lifestyles. I've met that people there that live in caravans, live under the ground, live in tents, live up trees. Uh, there are people that are there just to see what's going on, there are tourists there, there are ravers there. Um, it's a very kind of psychedelic summer experience. Um, and typically English in a lot of ways as well. It's a really lovely day, but winter solstice is much more about being very um, contemplative and inward. It's a much smaller crowd, obviously, because it, it is mostly people that are pagan. Um, there's a little druid ceremony most of the time that happens that we all watch. Um, and then kind of there is a lot of, of time to contemplate and to watch the sun come up. And it's it's just, 
it's much more reverent I think there's a lot more reverence and a lot more time to kind of lose yourself in it just become completely lost in it whereas with summer solstice you get swept up in in the crowd and the drums and everything winter solstice is really much more of a dedicated spiritual crowd people that are there really to mark the occasion in a very serious way so it does have a lot more solace and thought to it which is really nice I'm not going to be doing that this year because I have um, family arrangements and stuff that come right in the middle of that but I will definitely do it again and I do like doing it and there are a lot of sacred sites throughout the UK that pagans kind of visit during that day and um, enjoy um, the turning of the tide really which is what it's all about feeling that something is on the horizon and celebrating all of the work that we've put in place to get ourselves to this point where we're about to propel ourselves into the future so to speak so yeah I've done them um, I've, I've celebrated Yule in a group setting and that was great but I think this year it's just going to be little old me and I'm just going to have a few moments to myself I haven't written a ritual yet I've just had so much to do um it was my birthday yesterday I'm going out for a meal tonight with friends and then I've got so much wrapping and organizing and things to do so um finding the time to write a ritual of the magnitude that my Samhain ritual normally is is not normally kind of on my agenda but that's fine you know I mean if I felt the same degree of attachment to Yule that I did to Samhain then of course I would put time aside but I feel Yule is much more of an organic feeling it's more of a feeling Samhain is for me a dedicated time of putting things down in stone almost as it were and saying goodbye to anything that I have felt has been negative so it's much more about working with the shadow there's lots and lots of footwork to do in my inner life over the Samhain period and I welcome that I welcome that challenge and I see it as an opportunity Yule I feel is just an organic all-encompassing feeling of potential and the future and happiness and generosity kind of a feeling of inner freedom that flows through us all to an extent if we're lucky the, the vibrational frequencies tend to even out amongst people so and it just feels like a really nice time and as I explained in um one of my videos, uh, the musings and plans video I did a while ago, this Christmas um, and Yule period is going to be very, very different to the last one. Um, it was around the time of Yule last year that I started my work with the homeless, um, whereas this year it's just going to be a very family orientated Christmas and I'm going to be getting everything organised for that. So I do need to think as well about what was going on this time last year and how that compares with what's going on this year and the changes that I've I've experienced in my emotional life um, and the people that I've left behind and the people that have come into my life since last year so I think Yule's also a perfect time for reflection um, the last 12 months as a whole what's gone on what's been shed away what's been added to what's been built on that kind of thing I think it's a great opportunity to meditate on those ideas and I will be doing that as well so I'm really looking forward to seeing some Yule videos from you guys and hopefully some Yule altars because I'm feeling very festive and excited about that. And if I do set something up, I will definitely show it to you guys. Um, that is a promise because I just love pouring over everybody else's Yule altars and sacred spaces and stuff. So it would be very rude of me if I do set up a Yule altar not to um, show you guys what's going on with that. So I definitely will do. And my altars are kind of a little bit spacey and a little bit far out. They're not um, your typical Wiccan setup. There's a lot of different things going on there. So um, it would be quite exciting to compare my Yule altar to other people's and see how that is. And I think if I do set up a Yule altar, it's probably going to be a bit kitschy as well, because I just love kitsch. I'm the queen of kitsch. And I think there's something really magical about kitsch and trash and tack. So you will see, um, you will see a working altar of mine at some point, maybe soon. So that'd be great. Right, okay, so I'm going to wrap this up now because I have a tarot, a trainee tarot video I want to do, but thank you for listening, and again, I'm sorry it's not been very eloquent, you can probably hear that I'm full of cold, so, but I really wanted to talk about Yule today because I really am feeling in the festive spirit, so I hope you all are too, and blessed be.